Greetings, friends of Essential Aromatica. Welcome to this episode of Luna Aroma, Aromatically Lunar Sessions, a practice of noticing seasonal themes marked by moon time and really reflecting on them. This is celebrated with an aromatic plant and its essential oil alongside a guided aromatic encounter and poetry. Yes, that's right, a poem. Luna Aroma honors the moon as a timekeeper and how time is fluid and can be observed through happenings around us rather than by a mechanical clock tick tock tick tock. Oh, and the likes of tick tock. That's another topic. Luna Aroma helps us remember we are of this world and to get out of our heads. January, the month of wolf time, wolf moon, was a time for sticking with the pack, building architecture through nourishment and honoring your personal and ancestral past, honoring foundations of yourself and the earth, bones, rock, dirt, the structure of trees without their leaves. As the ground slowly starts thawing now and days are steadily growing longer, February, this moon time, is a time of preparation to slowly wake from hibernation and get ready for spring, but we're not there yet. Getting ready for growth and action, but not too quickly. February's hunger moon time reminds us it is still barren out there and for many of us still cold. It tells us to quietly and patiently plan. It's a time to tend to your heart, to respect and love yourself, your pack, your ancestors, where you are from, where you live. February's moon time, we're still in winter, <laughs> is called by many names. Of course, this is all relational depending where you live. Some names from North America are the hunger moon. If you look at uh, the farmer's almanac, I believe that's the, the main one. Snow moon, little famine moon, bony moon, storm moon. There are others, of course. What is this time called where you live? Hunger moon time is still a time of evergreen trees. Juniper being one of the elders. Evergreens are more important than ever right now. Animals turn to them for shelter, for food, often as a last resort. This is why I chose juniper berry for this moon time. Every year, and I just noticed this, uh, just I see it. I just saw it the other day. I noticed that birds don't turn to juniper berries in times of abundance. I saw American robins eating juniper berries the other week out of desperation when a treacherous cold front of icy proportions just snapped in and out of this region. So as you probably guessed it, the plant for this Luna Aroma is juniper, juniperus communis, and the other junipers too, if you happen to be living, let's say, in Utah or Arizona, in many other parts of the world, so many junipers. But juniperus communis, and it's the essential oil of its berries. So please get out your bottle of uh, juniper essential oil. You might have juniper berries in the kitchen that you cook with, or maybe take this time to pause and go outside and get yourself just a few of those lovely berries, the more mature ones if you can, to spend time with me during this Luna Aroma. Yes, and that's my, my radio voice that I like to, <laughs> to use. <laughs> but let's get back to being a little more serious, but um, humor is often called for, especially if you get to laugh at yourself. Um, so to be quite serious again, uh, hunger moon, this is the hunger moon. And words that come to mind, of course, are hunger to crave in desperation, other words. This is when 
animals and we tap into the reserves of the body, of the pantry, in the kitchen, of our soul. What does it take to survive through this time? Think of our ancestors. Think of the deer out there and all the other beautiful animals. What are they doing? Patience, purpose, perception, resourcefulness. A couple weeks ago, I saw a red fox run across the two-lane road right about a mile from our house. It was around 7 a.m., and I was in the car. And I'm bringing this up because this is not normal fox behavior, just like the American robins when I see them eating the juniper berries. This is not normal. Fox, the fox is not public. The fox doesn't generally run across the road at 7 a.m. This was desperation at play, and it called for resourcefulness, and uh, my heart I was like, oh, you poor thing, you must, be, you must be desperate right now. And like all animals, we need to be resourceful. If we're in the cold to find warmth, if we're in the, the, the wet to find some dryness, and to find nourishment where we can. And again, this is for our soul too, for our psyche, our mind, not just the physical body. Uh, some words that come to mind when I was musing upon this are reserving, recycling, reusing. In February, this hunger moon time is in opposition of Augustian abundance. It is starkness shrouded with a blanket of snow, dead grass, fallen branches. Hunger moon month is often a time of, oh, I've just had enough enough of the cold, the wind, the seeming barrenness of it all. But we need patience in juniper and its berries, its, its essence, may help us embody that. So move. It's almost springtime, but move just enough. It's not quite time. That comes in March, March moon time. And we're getting into that. Slowly awaken as the groundhog does and the bear. And the bear starts thinking of it. Juniper starts to get things moving if you look at its uh, medicinal or therapeutic qualities. It quickens and gets water moving. But here's the thing. Juniper is old, has wisdom. Juniper is ancestral masculine energy filled with patience, purpose, perception, wisdom. And if you practice yoga or just want to imagine with me a mountain or mountain pose or the corpse pose, it's not really even necessarily death. You could call it ego death. We could get really deep, but just to be and that steadfastness in corpse pose, supine, or mountain pose when you're standing. So this is still the time of ancestors. Wisdom, your DNA, your inner wisdom. And as we ease into the meditation now, getting out your bottle of essential oil, smelling a drop on a cotton pad, or put some in a diffuser, a scent strip, crush those berries... Listen to the beat of your heart. It is the sound of purpose. Now, as we transition to the meditation, I am going to start and end with the singing bowl. So get out a, your essential oil, close your eyes. Let me be your guide. Imagine becoming a juniper tree with its weather-beaten branches, protective, prickly needles, and abundance of berries. Take that cloak of juniper and wrap it around your shoulders. Wear the mantle. Feel your feet become steady and rooted, your torso a trunk, your arms sturdy branches, your hair becoming green needles as you bear the gift of berries. In your heartwood is wisdom that is passed on to your berries. That's all ancestral. In your heart lies a gift only you know about 
and can share with the world. The sun emerges over the horizon. The early morning light slowly awakens your leaves. You remain rooted, noticing the sensations of you on your body, the brightness of the light, its dim warmth, the movement of air across your branches and leaves, the sounds around you, the taste and smell of the air, the soil's texture on your roots. A raven circles above you and lands on one of your branches. Raven asks you for some food, one of your berries. You willingly offer up one of your berries, from the new and young berries to the mature and ripe ones. Your berries are offerings, part of your wisdom from your heartwood. But which one should I pick? asks the raven. You reply, when my berries are new and young, they are green and hard. They are more challenging to eat and need more time. What is something in you that is new, nascent, the beginning of? Leave that berry on the branch. Nurture it. You must wait and go inward. Listen to the beat of your heart. It is the sound of patience. Just breathe in the oil. When my berries are a year older, they become softer and more mature, darker, purple-blue. They are ready to share and provide for others. They are ready to go out and put down roots and fly with ravens. They have had time to process and realize purpose. What is within you that is ready to be shared with the world? Listen to the beat of your heart. It is the sound of purpose. When my berries are older, in two to three years, they are full of wisdom, life wisdom, DNA wisdom. They hold messages from me, from the land, air, water, sky, sun, moon, animals, birds. They have seen, felt, heard, smelled, and tasted many things as I have. But I know, although they are a part of me, they are to be on their own. They have the wisdom and resources within themselves to manifest in the world. They are ready to talk with ravens. What within your heart wisdom do you discern needs tending to within yourself, within the world? Listen to the beat of your heart. It is the sound of perception. A poem by Cassandra Coxon from Oregon in the United States. Juniper Tree. Upon the sun-beaten hills, in the hot and citric embrace of the wind, under the benediction of the coyote who loves the moon, sanctioned by the sage and the deer, a quiet people without judgment, there dwells the juniper, old and gnarled, arms open in an embrace of the midnight sky. He reaches to the stars in prayer and reverence. His soft and weathered lips, whispering without sound, waiting for the stars to answer back, waiting for deliverance and absolution. I will miss him, that sad old man who is waiting, lost in a world of which he is no longer a part, and yet still watches over. You see, we are so much alike, my soul and I. So as we come to an end, 
and reflect upon this new moon time as we are transitioning into the next moon time on a day-by-day basis. With this new, excuse me, new moon time, all new moons, every day, right, is an opportunity to initiate, to ponder, and plan. Please take the messages of juniper and hunger moon time as you tend to your inner garden, as you hold love for yourself and others, as you fly and talk with ravens, as you plant your seeds. Uh, This is deep stuff. You think of generational DNA wisdom, the wisdom in all of us, the wisdom on the earth, mind-blowing. So, as I part ways, be sure to check out my article on juniper berry essential oils on nycaromatica.com to learn more about the essential oil from Juniperus virgin. Ah, I was going to say Juniperus virginiana. That's a whole different topic, whole different time of year. I meant to say from our beloved Juniperus communis and its gorgeous berries. So, as I say at the end of every episode. Thank you and ciao for now.